And our first question from a question from Ellen are going to come from Brandon Sudge and Mark Weiser. Hey, uh, Nolan. Um, so I wanted to ask you kind of about um, how you've taken this uh, season right now as a younger guy who who hasn't really been here too terribly long, but to be in a place to where you guys aren't really looking at a playoff spot right now to where the controlling your destiny thing is kind of out of reach. Um, how do you – like? How do you personally kind of go about that and get motivated every day? Yeah, I mean, you take every day one day at a time. I mean, you shouldn't need motivation, man. We we were fighting to play a football season, and now we get the opportunity, and some guys talking, like you said, what is your motivation? We get to play football, so we got to come in and prepare every day like it, it might be our last day. I mean, we got we see guys getting banged up and hurt in other conferences and other leagues that don't get to play a down anymore. And, you know, you just try to take the every day one day at a time. I mean, I tried to have the best Tuesday I can have today, and I tried to have the best Monday yesterday. So you just take everything one day at a time. Hey, Nolan, I know, uh, you know, it was a rough game for a lot of uh, folks, uh, you know, on Georgia, including the quarterbacks the last game. I'm curious, the you know, two days of practice, what you've seen from those three guys with Stetson out uh, in terms of, you know, how you guys might be, uh, you know, at that position if Stetson uh, isn't able to go. Um. You know, I trust Coach Smart and um, Coach Munkin to make the right program, but I'm not I'm not on that side of the ball, so I really I really don't know. I just see them throw on um, on certain periods and stuff like that, and they look really good and really great from what I see. But also, I'm not a quarterback's coach, so I really don't know nothing about that position. Um, I trust our coaches that they'll make the right decision and put the guy out there that's ready and that can lead the team to an another win. Let's go to Mike and then Dean. Uh, yeah, no, I just want to ask you, you know, just your thoughts coming out of that Florida game in general, just you personally and your performance, where you think you're at? Uh, you know, it's we try to get better from week to week. Personally, you know, it's a lot of things that I could work on. I'm not a perfect player by, by any means. And just working on our pass rush, knowing our, knowing our coverages and stuff like that and how, how we can really help. Um, help with games and stuff like that and just real pocket push for me and being able to separate from blocks that's really about it and I just try to work on hand placement and I discipline every day you know a lot of teams are starting to do like throwbacks and trickery stuff so looks like Dean stepped off let's go to Jake and then Dasher um, Nolan, you guys have – I mean, I think I've got three outside linebackers now with, with three sacks or more, and, you know, you had one and a half in the first game. I know you guys aren't really focused on numbers, but you know, do, you, do you ever kind of – you know, you, is there a sense of urgency maybe when you're in the game to like, hey, I need to get mine while I have an opportunity, or, or is, is it just kind of a different attitude? No, it's a hundred percent a different attitude. It's not. It's never. I need to get mine when I have to. Is you do it for your brother, for your team. If I if I see Aziz get a sack, I'm gonna be yelling from the sideline. Great job, Aziz. And I know when when I get a sack, he's yelling the same thing. It's never. That's a, that's a really like a selfish mentality, and that's nothing. That's nothing like that on our team. Hey, Nolan, you mentioned eye discipline. I think Coach uh, calls it eye control, however you want to describe it. How does one go about, you know, making sure you improve that area? I mean, I know it's film work, on field, kind of what does it take? It's a – it. You some people would say film work, but it's just being able to be um, – when you're on the field, just looking at your right keys and looking at things that's coming back. I mean, it's just a lot of things you can do. You can watch film, recognize play sets, or say, oh, this play, I know what this is going to happen. I got to watch this key and all of that. But it's just a lot, of, a lot of guys prepare a lot differently. Like, I'm one of the guys that got to see it off the field and look at film and stuff like that and analyze it and then carry it on the field. Thanks, man. Let's go to Justin and then Seth. Hey, man, I appreciate you taking the time with us tonight. Uh, what are kind of the big headlines of what Mizzou does well and what's it going to take to slow them down? I mean, Mizzou's a really good team. I mean, they run the ball really well, and they also can hit you with some explosive shots over the head. I mean, we just got to do what we always do, stop the run. And, you know, this is the SEC. Guys try to run, and they got an amazing back. And their quarterback has a really good arm, and he can make throws. I mean, they have a really good team, and we got to go out there and play clean and good football like Georgia can. Nolan, uh, how much pride did you and the defense take this year and coming into the year and 
being called an elite defense and, and how how hurtful is it to have the performances you've had against Alabama and, and Florida? I mean, it's it's not hurtful. I still believe in the guys in our, in our room every time. I mean, that's like when your kid falls off the bike, you don't tell them, oh, well, you stay down, you don't ever ride the bike again. You tell them to get back up and keep on riding. I mean, we can't we can't just fall down and lay down in sorrow. We got to get back up and get back in the groove of things. Just like just like when you first start riding the bike, you fell down, but you didn't stay down. You kept riding. Let's go to Palmer and then Griffin. Yeah, Nolan, Coach Smart said today that y'all need this game this weekend. Why do you think that is? Is that a factor of coming off of the loss and needing to get that taste out of your mouth, or how do you take that quote? I mean, the fact that we need this game is exactly what Coach Smart says. We just need to get get on the right track, get going, get back to playing Georgia football and get comfortable as as a team and, and to build the team camaraderie back. You know, sometimes after a loss it can be hurtful and, and, and guys, everybody deals with it in different ways. Some guys don't like talking to people. Some guys just like going through practice. And I know when we get back to this game, we'll see that brotherhood form back and everybody get ready to play again. Hey, Nolan. Uh, so how do you feel the guys have handled uh, precautions and code restrictions so far this year? Is there uh, like an added pressure or an emphasis on it now that the SEC is having some teams unable to play? Well, of course, every day, you know, I got my mask right here and we wear our mask in every meetings and stuff like that. And we try to be safe. And even from the coaches on down to the players on down to the GAs, even people in the equipment room, we're just trying to be safe and just I know the plexiglass, they put up a plexiglass in front of our equipment people, and it's pretty funny. We laughed about it, but that's just something that is trying to keep them safe and trying to make sure everyone stands from a lot of face-to-face -face contact. Our last question is going to come from Connor. Hey, Nolan, what's sort of the mood of the team these first two practices this week, and where is the mindset going into the Missouri game with this being really the first game of your time here at Georgia where you don't control your fate to getting to the SEC championship game. I mean, the injury was really good. You don't have to – at Georgia, we practice. We practice really hard, and we love to practice, and that's what we build our brand on. That's how we went to Rose Bowls back in the past. So, guys, we still brought into that, and the best is the standard. And we just got to go out every day and just take it one day at a time. I mean, we can't get ahead of ourselves. And we got really good energy at practice, guys flying around, guys making plays all over the place. There's nobody hanging their head or, or thinking that we're down. We're just still here to play football. Nolan.